Teachers on strike because they say they're being forced to undertake extreme workloads, uh, sometimes working 60-hour weeks. At least 270 schools from across Merseyside have been affected today as staff marched through Liverpool protesting against pay as well and pension changes. Our reporter Alex Dibble was there for us. Michael Stone takes some Carlene and Catholic boys through over in uh, West Harbour. Brian McCullough, St. John Passington in the world. How old are you guys, if you don't mind me asking? 27. 27? I'm 28. 28. So you, compared to a lot of people here, are kind of some of the, the younger guys. To be perfectly honest, I'm leaving teaching this year, and the, the primary reason why I'm leaving teaching is because uh, the attack on pensions, uh, because the, the work conditions that we are being put under by this Conservative government, um, as far as I'm concerned, are disgraceful. I just feel the standards that Ofsted are putting on us, they're just too much. It's just not possible to do what you need to do for the children in your care while fulfilling what Ofsted needs you to do. I work until about 11 o'clock every night, you know, doing marking, doing prep, doing admin. And you're up at what time? <laughs> up at quarter to seven, and in school for a quarter to eight. We, we love our jobs, it is one of the most fantastic and rewarding professions. Uh, I love teaching it. Um, and unfortunately, I feel I'm being driven out because physically, I just can't do it. And there's no way, no way that you can expect someone in their 60s to sit in front of 30 children and still have the energy. You know, I don't have a family. I don't know how people who have kids do it mm. at all. Mary Timmons, St Mary's College in Wallasey. I mean, one, one of the big things is obviously the, the changes to pensions. How, how is that going to affect you or will it? They've raised the contributions that we're paying, but we're going to get less money. And that doesn't make sense to anybody. Would a banker expect to work longer hours but get no more bonus for it? I don't think so. Most of us have spent six years training to be teachers. Even though they want the best teachers that they can, they won't pay them. They don't want to pay them properly. They want the best people in banking and on executive boards, but they'll pay them. And they've brought the country to its knees. How does that work?